How's it going everybody? Welcome back to How to Build a Realistic Minecraft City Episode 2 and I would just like to thank everybody for the tremendous support on Episode 1. And like I said, we're going to be getting these episodes out every single week. One to two to three episodes a week like, like like I said, I am going. We're getting the series done. We're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna show you how to build an awesome city. So before we get into this, I have some really cool things to show you guys how to build today. But please do, seriously, it helps me continue making these videos. Hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, I'll ask you. Just follow me on Twitter or Instagram and uh, links in the description down below. But let's get building. So today, oh my goodness, today, what do we got in store? Uh, we're actually going to be building a train cart. Ooh, very cool. So we're going to be doing a train cart, and I'll show you guys how to do all the wiring mechanisms, blah, blah, blah. It's not actually intense. It's, it's not hard at all. But uh, I'll show you guys how to do all that. And we're going to lay out this entire street, uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a little bit with command blocks. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. But uh, the first thing we want to do is... Uh, let, let's just clear out our inventory. Okie dokie, so we have our resources, and it's a bit of a random selection, but I'll stick into the common theme, orange and gray. All right, so what we need is acacia wood stairs, white stained glass panes, andesite stairs, grindstones, that's a fun one, I've never really, I don't really build with grindstones, it's cool. Oak fence gates, acacia trap doors, orange terracotta, acacia signs, and a lever, or a lever, I don't know how you say it. Are you a lever or a lever person? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> so, uh, what we're first gonna wanna do is, I would just pick, pick anywhere. I'm gonna go from the first street light and I'm gonna go like maybe like 10 blocks in. But what you wanna do, okay, so this is a bit, it's a bit tricky here. So you want, what you wanna do is take an orange terracotta and place uh, some andesite stairs going forward like that. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four, five blocks across, just like that. So pretty much you just have the five across and it should look exactly like that, like no different at all. Okay, so after you've gotten that done, you've gotten your five, what you're gonna wanna do now is go ahead and just bring your andesite, one, two, this side, one, two, this side, just like that. All right, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your acacia wood stairs and you know how we did these ones going up like that? We're just going to go ahead and take these going right around on top, just like this. Boom. There we go. Looks pretty cool, right? Awesome. So now you want to take your white stained glass and you want to start from not the second one back, but this the this one right here. You want to just go right around. You want to go up by two, just like this, creating the front of your train. Now I built this uh, my little little model of this in uh, with shaders, so I'm, I really hope it looks good. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> uh, but for right here, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take, uh, let's, let's see here. You wanna get your, we need acacia wood. So go ahead and substitute anything really in your inventory. I, you know what, substitute the lever for now. Not really important. And we're just gonna go ahead and bring up this side with acacia wood just like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna break this one right here, and on the very bottom, we're gonna wanna make these uh, this acacia wood stairs, just like that. And then on the top, just go ahead and go right around like this, with your two. And then right here, we'll just do the exact same thing. There we go. So that should be what the front of our train looks like. Well, soon to be train, okay? Let me make that clear, soon to be train. Okay, so now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go ahead and, I know, it's gonna look better, don't worry, I know, it's like, what are you making? It's like, I'm, don't worry, don't worry. Place an acacia stair, or andesite stairs. Uh, oak fence aside, right there. Another acacia wood. Then take your uh, terracotta, and I'm gonna place one right there. So acacia stair, terracotta, acacia wood. One, two, like that, leaving an open little door space like this and then going, uh, grabbing your acacia wood stairs, and you're just gonna wanna break this one right here and bring it going right across, just like that. I, I, I didn't mean to place that there, but yeah, just go right across on the top. And now what we're gonna do, the top's gonna look so much better, we have so much de uh, details we're gonna do. Now what you wanna do is take your grindstones and crouch, aim this way and place them this way. Uh, then we're gonna just go, let's just, you can just place a sample block there. There we go. Oh. 
was that attached to something? What does this need to be attached to? So I'll just place an andesite stair right here. And what you want to do is just go like this. So you want to place it, so crouch and place it on that one. So this little uh, thing on the grindstone, the feet of it are facing this way. Oh, does that not work on Bedrock Edition? I don't think it does. Oh, never mind. Well, it's gonna make it so they were attached to each other, but it doesn't look like it works. That still works too, and it looks cool, so whatever. Damn, that's, that's disappointing. <laughs> okay, it's all good though. Now what we're gonna do is take our terracotta and just go right across, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and take our acacia wood planks and go up like this. Have our stairs come across, just like that. And we're gonna place two glass right there. Cool, right? All right, so now what we can do is right under here is place acacia trap doors. Along the top, we're just gonna go, now this may be a little bit difficult if you're on Bedrock Edition or if you're on console, but what you're gonna do is just go right around placing signs just like this around the top um, of these stairs, just like that. I'm just gonna do the first half and you wanna do the exact same thing for the bottom, just like this. So going around the bottom, there we go, there we go. All right, so that's how it's pretty much gonna look right there. Um, okay, next thing we wanna do is just do the exact same thing. So, boom, and we're gonna go ahead and do one crouch this way, one over top here, boom, just like that. We're gonna take our orange terracotta, go across, and we're gonna do the exact same things with our acacia wood, just like this. We're just gonna take this, and go right across there we go and now this train how big are we gonna make it we're gonna go out and do that one more time or maybe two more times it depends so we're gonna go one and we're gonna want to take our so make sure you, if you're placing on an anvil or anything like that you always got to make sure you crouch as well as placing these well i don't think really you have to crouch uh but right under so you place the trap doors right underneath the wood beams so i'm gonna place one right there one two Boom, boom, boom. And we're pro we're gonna have to go until we make this even. There we go. And let's hope this is it. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So pretty much we went, we have one, two, three, four, five, six windows, just like that. Going along this side, we have one, two, three, four sets of wheels. Make sure your acacia trap doors are going along the sides just like that. And then I'm just gonna pause the video here and I'm just gonna go ahead and place the signs right on the tops of these because I don't think you wanna watch me placing signs within the next couple of minutes. Alrighty, so the next part is uh, pretty simple. We're pretty much doing the same thing we did at the front of the train to the bottom of the train because these streetcars are they're pretty similar to the back and front designs. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this out right across by five and out by one, just like that. And same thing here, we're gonna do, the, we're pretty much just gonna follow the exact same design we had over here. So one, two, or sorry about that, two. Uh, oh, we probably want this here. Let's just go ahead and place our acacia, not acacia, this is terracotta, and just do our all of our andesite stairs real quick. There we go. You can even leave those there if you want to, because in reality, nobody's gonna see them, but it's okay, it's up to you. If you want to be 100% and be cool, then uh, just follow this tutorial. <laughs> um, but yeah, just go ahead and we're pretty much just doing the exact same thing on this side. And just bring this over here. One, two, one, two, one, two. See how, see, see how fast it goes? Like, I kind of had to be a little bit slow on how I was explaining things at first. But like, it's really easy once you like, get, you know, get the hang of these things. Um, and pretty much just, you can bring this going right across like that. And uh, yeah, it's like, it's like once you get started and like once you like see what you're supposed to do and like you have like the first half of your build done, it always goes by so much quicker. So yeah, just do the trap doors underneath the wood, not underneath the windows, but underneath the wood. There we go, there we go. And now what you can do is just take your, uh, oh yeah, so the back of the train. Since, so the front of the train, you can see we did like a little curve right here. For the back of the train, we didn't do that curve. We kind of just went straight across. And for the windows, it's just like one, two, three. Does that work? Did I screw something up? Um, yes, you could try something like this. Yeah, so 
Oh, that looks cool. Okay, so <laughs> for the back of the train, instead of, so what you want to do is just go a stair, terracotta, stair, terracotta, stair. Leave these two spots right here, which is the existing wall. Uh, don't place anything right here, but then place two over the top of the terracotta and just fill it in with the window. Look how cool that looks. That wasn't originally with my design, but I kind of just like, you know, one with it and I think it looks really cool. Um, let's do the inside of the train. So what you want to do is, I would just say, just get oak planks. Oak planks are probably the easiest and just fill the floor in with those. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna have a beautiful, lovely floor that goes right over top of the road, but it's okay because we're not gonna look at that road anymore. <laughs> uh, so there we go, now we have that, which looks beautiful. And I guess we can do like a little bit of, you can decorate it if you want to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and take some spruce stairs. And of course, this is gonna be the captain's seat right here. Is that what we call them? It's like, this is the captain's seat. It's like, no, this is just the guy who drives the train. It's like, okay, we can call him the captain though to make him feel cool. Uh, you can just take these acacia trap doors and make like make like a little table right there. Uh, and then just go ahead and just like just like a bus. Just go ahead and add your chairs in. And now that's pretty much what this is. It's it's just a bus pretty much, but it's a streetcar, right? So it's like a city bus, but it's a streetcar. And the streetcars are so cool because instead of always theming modern, like it's always cool to implement those other designs and they just look absolutely amazing at the end of the day. So like, I'm really happy with how this looks. Um, now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna, it's, it's gonna be, we're taking a little bit of terms of the blocks, but we're gonna wanna get deep slate. And pretty much, we're just wanna go ahead and place one deep slate there. Sorry about making you go back in your inventory. I know it's exhausting. I hate this whenever I go into tutorials too. Place a deep slate slab over top of it. Break that deep slate underneath it. And then just go ahead and this roof why can't I do this for some reason? This roof will all be deep slate slabs going across like this. There we go. Sorry about that. I, I know how brutally annoying it is whenever like, you you get all your blocks ready, you have them all ready, and it's just like the creator's like, yeah, go back in your inventory. It's like, oh my gosh, really? Or like when they make a mistake and you're just like, have to watch it back. How many times I've done that? <laughs> oh man, it's brutal, I'm so sorry. Uh, but pretty much what you wanna do now is you wanna find the middle of the train, so one, so that's one, two, so that three, so this seems like about the middle. You can just estimate the middle, it doesn't really matter, but it looks like the middle for me. And you wanna go to your tools section and grab yourself a stone cutter. What, a stone cutter, yep. You wanna grab yourself two end rods. Whoa, where's he going with this design? You're gonna wanna go ahead and place the stone cutter like this. You wanna crouch. Yep, we're, we're crouching. We're gonna wanna place an end rod over top of it, right? We're gonna place an end rod over top of this end rod, right? We're gonna wanna place another thingy, another, um, what is this called, stone cutter. And you know why we're using the stone cutters? Because it looks like the wires are running through them, right? It's like an active gear and chain system. It's awesome. Now what you're gonna wanna do is grab some chains. Ooh, where is he going with this? I, honestly, I got a plan, don't worry. And go ahead and grab yourselves, uh, sorry about that, a grindstone as well, and, with this grindstone, what you're gonna do is, let me just double check here, yeah, so, with the grindstone, you wanna just go ahead on the train and crouch, just like this. Crouch, just like this, on each sides, And then, oh, so you're gonna have to crouch again, just to get the chain attached there. That's so annoying about these things, but hey, it looks cool. Crouch, and then, booyah, we're gonna wanna go ahead and bring our chains right across. And pretty much with the street that light design, it's a bit, it's a bit tricky to place chains, but I'm so glad you can uh, make them go like this. We're just gonna go ahead and bring the train, ch trains, trains, chains, they'll rhyme in this episode, right underneath these uh, street lights, and it just pretty much makes it look like, you know, it just makes it look like it, it runs through the system and works. Like, look how cool that looks. Looks awesome. So pretty much, that's a system, and that's how you build a train cart for your city. Now, I wasn't expecting this episode to be this long, but I'm not done yet because I still got some things to show you guys. But uh, yeah, definitely a little bit sorry about the length of this. And we're gonna get, we'll get to all the, we'll get to our first building next episode. But as you can see, um, I'm not slowing down with episodes. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep having a good time with this series. That's why I'm like, guys, if you haven't yet, and you're at this part of the video, while I'm trying to miserably place this chain, please do subscribe and leave a like. I, it really does help out. 
Uh, but yeah, just continue. Bring in your chains. If you can get it, a good rhythm with it and get a bunch placed at once, do it. But uh, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit tricky. So there we go. Look at that. We got a trend card. Look how cool that looks. Doesn't that look awesome? It looks really cool, doesn't it? All righty. For the next part of the video, this is probably the final part of the video. I'm going to teach you guys how to use the command block. Pretty simple. Well, not really simple. You can't mess it up because command blocks can be so annoying. But we're going to go slash give the at symbol s space structure s so it's a different on uh, java edition but it's pretty similar just search up the command on google block there we go one so we need the slash give command yourself giving it to yourself what the name of the object is and the quantity of the object and boom we have ourselves a structure block all right so now when you place a structure dot block you're gonna be like oh my goodness what is this what am i supposed to do well you can see where this green line is right and that's the box. Pretty much everything inside this box is going to copy. And we want to copy this train to make another one, but the train's not inside the box. So in order to get this train inside the box, we're going to want to go ahead and place the command block right behind the train. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to take that structure block, place it so the square is like eating the train, right? And you want to just make sure it's behind here like this, so the green line is up, and these lines are like facing towards the train. And what we're going to do is we're going to name the structure name. We're going to want to just do it simple. Do something simple. I like doing simple stuff, you know? Just do one. The offset, make sure the offset is zero. Very, very important. Don't forget that. Offset zero. So we're going to do the size, the X, Y, and Z. X is going to be seven. Seven captures the whole side of the train, which is what we need right because it's seven blocks pretty much y is the height so what we're going to want to do is probably just make the height about eight eight blocks that seems like about right uh and the z this is probably about 25 blocks long oh oh okay it's, i thought i got i thought i nailed it no so it's about 20 blocks long we want to try to get these measurements exact so like this is an exact measurement of the train we've got seven on the x y is eight z is 20. now don't sweat it. If your measurements are off, if you screw something up, it's okay. Everybody mis makes mistakes. You don't need to fix it. If, it, if you like got one more cart on the back, it's all good. Just make your measurements a little bit taller or bigger to capture this full train. So now what you're gonna do is just save. Very simple, right? So now it's saved into your structure block. Now what we can do next is we can go ahead. Let's just say we place this structure block right here, for example. We have to go load, structure name one. Now if you click load, it's gonna show you, it's gonna show you this, if we load this in right here, it's going to show you what it's about to destroy to load that train in. And we do not wanna destroy our road, this is not right. So, let's just go ahead and rotate it. And I don't think we should, I don't think this is, we, we place this here. So what you're gonna do is remember how we captured the structure block right here and it's about one it's on the second block from the anvil so we're probably mu pretty much just going to do the exact same thing over here one two on the second block load structure name one again keep it simple now the offset don't forget about the offset change that to zero good you want to see invisibleness Invi inv invisibleness rotate it so let's rotate it by 90 that should go that way Let's rotate it by 270. Oh, that's 180. 180. I think 180 is what we want to do. Let's hope that's right. Load. Yes. Okay. So now when you load it, and you hit it by 180, that means it pretty much rotates. I don't have my webcam on, but it rotates the thing right around, right? And you're going to notice something. You'll be like, what the heck? Why are all the trap doors like this? Well, it's just a common mistake when you copy and duplicate items. Um, and you know what? It's okay. It's all good, but it's just a, it just requires you to go along and fix the trap doors Now I did realize I didn't finish placing all of the signs along the roof So make sure I hope you did that before you copied if you didn't I'm so sorry Because now you're gonna have to do fences on two different trains <laughs> But yeah, make sure you have the fences going along uh, the tops and the bottoms so what I'm gonna do here is just grab the fences and make sure even on the back too right here like make sure 
these have the fences over top of them. So it looks really good. So yeah, just make sure you have the fences going right along uh, the curves of these trains. Again, I'm not. I'm gonna do this after tutorial just to make sure I get it done. I don't wanna bore you guys of watching me place these signs. But uh, pretty much, that's how you use a structure block. We got two trains, looks really cool. Um, and again, when we extend our roads, uh, it will look, it will look, it'll look like this one's actually going somewhere. But uh, yeah, there we go. We got two train cards. Woo! That's really cool. Um, but again, I'm gonna. This is ah, I bit my tongue. That really sucked. This is gonna be the end of this tutorial here. Um, I hope you. I hope you guys like this. Like, I'm really. I, this. I think this build looks really cool. Uh, and I think the city's already looking fabulous. So, guys, from your train conductor to my beautiful subscribers, make sure you guys smash that like button, toot the horn. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, wait, I actually forget something. Grab a lever real quick. Yeah, yeah, you're like, what, 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 what are you doing? Grab, grab a lever real quick and just go along the top. And just, you can do like little random levers, you know, like, like this. On tops of the trains. Yeah, alright. So, <laughs> we're ending the video off here though. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.